Hey everyone, Jason from Mod Audio here. Uh, I wanted to show you something that you may have heard of, but it's uh, cool to demonstrate in practice. So this is a uh, tube phono stage that I just finished building. Really nice setup, separate power supply, tube rectified power supply, and this is the actual phono stage here, dual mono. And uh, it's got uh, three tubes because there's an MC moving coil head stage and then the moving magnet stage. So this is the moving coil uh, gain is in this first tube and then the moving magnet and all of the moving coil stage goes through these two. So if it's in moving coil, it goes through all three. If it's in moving magnet, it's just these two. Anyway, um, microphonic tubes. Here's a really good demonstration. So I've just been doing some tinkering with it and I have it connected to the oscilloscope. And what I'm going to do right now, the input is shorted. So the only signal that is going to be coming is going to be coming from the board. Watch what happens on the oscilloscope when I tap this tube. I'm not tapping it very hard. And I can do it on the other channel too. They're all, this one's not as bad. You can see it's not deflecting nearly as much, but this one, this one's pretty noisy. And you can see it in the, the previous stage, the following stages as well. Not as pronounced because this is the first stage and getting amplified as it goes along the chain. But yeah, that's, that's microphonics. It's actually the vibrations are going through the glass into the triode in this case and getting amplified by the tube. And these are actually brand new JJ tubes. So these aren't that bad, um, but it's a good demonstration of what's going on. And that's why we put these goofy looking O-rings, literally O-rings on here to try to dampen the noise a little bit. The fact that this is in a sealed chassis and a grounded chassis, like shielded, it's not really a big deal, um, but it could be if you had them exposed and like, say, in the way of a subwoofer or something like that. But anyway, that's a real world demonstration of a theoretical concept.